Hello everyone, my name is B Mark, and today I'll be showing you how you can properly emulate Nintendo Switch games on your PC. So yeah, let's get started in this video now. So now open any of your browser and type here Eden Emulator as you can see. And the first result that you see call Eden, open it up. So this is the current Nintendo Switch Emulator, click on download. And there are download links for different platforms. So you have for Windows, for Mac OS, for Android. I'm just gonna click on download for Windows. So after clicking on the download link, you will be redirected to Eden's GitHub page where you will see the latest version. So currently this is Eden 0.0.3. And I'm just gonna scroll down, scroll down. And you will see different links for different platforms so we have for linux for windows for android and i'm just gonna download from windows so i'm just gonna click on this and download the emulator as you can see download has been completed for eden emulator so i have downloaded the eden emulator as you can see and this is a zip file so i'm just gonna use 7-zip to extract it right here i'm just gonna right click on it 7-zip extract it here and as you can see this is the extracted emulator so after you have extracted the emulator you will see a file name called eden.exe open it up as soon as you open up the very first time you will see an error it says keys are missing so we need to add keys into this emulator so that it will work properly so where do you find those keys? Well, you can dump it from your own Nintendo Switch and use those keys in here. So after you have acquired your keys, what you need to do is go to file, go click on this open Eden folders, click on this NAND folder, go a path up and you will be in this Eden folder where you will see a bunch of folder and one of the folder names is keys. Just go into here and paste your keys. As you can see, I have pasted my title and port keys in this keys folder. Now restart your emulator. So when you restart your emulator again, you will see those keys error are not coming. If you have done this step correctly, you will not see those errors for keys. Alright, so next is, well, how do you get the games? Well, you can just dump it from your own Nintendo Switch and play it on the emulator. And also, obviously, there is some other ways you can probably, like, download it from some kind of website. But, well, I'm not providing any kind of link to any, any kind of website in this video. Or else, Nintendo will take this video down. So, yeah, just dump it from your own Nintendo Switch and play it on the emulator. So, after dumping those games, put those games back in a folder. So, I have put all my nintendo switch games inside of this folder okay make sure the game is in either in a in dot nsp or a dot xci file format and after opening the emulator as you can see it says here double click to add a new folder so just double click here and add your folder that has those switch games in it as soon as i'm going to select the folder as you can see as soon as i selected the folder all my games appeared so the next step is to do some settings so for that go to emulation go to configure and we have to change some settings here so first of all just keep them like how it is here then you can go to system make sure this multi core cp emulation is checked keep the other things as it is go to cpu make sure this is accuracy set to auto and fast cpu time is enabled now in graphics make sure in this device Whatever your most powerful GPU is, is actually selected. As you can see, this is my GPU, this is selected. And for API, if you are on an AMD and an Intel GPU, you have to use Vulkan. Okay, Vulkan is the best for both AMD and Intel GPUs. If you are on NVIDIA, you can use OpenGL or Vulkan, that's up to you. Keep the settings checked, use this pipeline cache and also asynchronous GP emulation. VSync, you can turn it on or off, that's up to you. It's basically just caps the FPS. 
full screen mode make sure this full screen mode is set to exclusive full screen resolution that's up to you you can use 720p which is 1x or you can if you have like a very high end gp you can go higher to 4k or 1440p for adaptive filtering make sure this is on fsr which provides a sharpening filter which looks actually very good in game anti-lazing method make sure this is on fxaa and sharpening filter this is basically for this adaptive filter so whatever whichever value you want just keep it in there let's go to advanced section gpu accuracy level now this for this if you have it on high which basically means the graphical fidelity will be very good there will be less graphical glitches but you will also see very low fps so but if you are on normal well you will see more graphical glitches but your fps will be also very high so you have to just basically probably experiment with it see which one is performing better for your game dma level keep it on default and a filtering just keep it on automatic all this other one just keep whatever it is and here just check these boxes that i have enabled here for extensions just keep it as it is Now on the audio side, just keep everything at auto. Sometimes the sound might not work, so you have to check your output device and select the proper output device, whatever headphone, headset you are using. So now in the controller section, you can see these are different type of controllers that you can select. So you have Pro Controller, we have Dual Joy-Cons or Handheld. Now this handheld is actually needed if you are playing the Let's Go games, else they will not work at all for other purposes you can just keep it at pro controller now this is selected as keyboard only so if you just want to change any kind of key you can click on it it says waiting so you can just press any kind of key and if you have a controller connected in the controller will be shown here just click on it and as you can see all of the buttons will be already configured you can click also on here for docked or handheld mode to simulate the docked and handheld feature the switch has all right so the next is well how do you add update or like deals his to your game so let's see how we can do this so first of all go to file click on this install files to NAND and I'm gonna actually add an update for my Pokemon let's go EV game so I actually have the update here click on it and I'm gonna click on open as you can see the update is actually showing up and I'm just gonna click install as you can see it says the update has been installed so i'm just gonna click ok and it says here update 1.0.2 you can also right click on here click on uh, configure game and as you can see the version is actually updated if you don't want to enable the update you can just uncheck it from here press ok and the update will be disabled all right so finally let's just run a game now let's see if it's working properly so i'm just gonna run this pokemon let's go ev game so i'm just gonna double click on it and start the game up now i'll actually blur the screen or else if nintendo says that i'm emulating this game well they will strike this video down so i'll have to actually have to completely blur the skin but you might be able to just tell that the game is actually running also when you start the game up you might see this warning so for now you don't have to worry about it too much just click on ok and ignore it
and as you can see or you might probably just be able to tell that the game is actually has started up So that is how you can do Nintendo Switch emulation in the year 2025. So if you have come this far then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.